Hi developers, welcome back to Code Step by Step. My name is Anil. This is the uh, fourth part of React Router 6.0 series, and uh, here we will talk about params. This is an important concept of routing, and that not only present in React JS, that that is also present in Angular, in Vue JS, even everywhere we are using you are using a routing concept, right? So we will learn that what is that uh, params in routing and why we need it after that we will make some components and uh, we will see that how we can make links and route for them how we can get the params from url and uh, we will learn everything in detail and keep in mind this concept is really important for interviews also so uh, please watch this video with uh, very concentration mode all right so what is params first question is that so i'm just going to give you an example so for example we have a list of users right we have a thousands or thousand users let's suppose and uh, on a click of that user i want to show the detail of that user in a list we have only name of that user and whenever i will just click on that user i have to show the user name uh, uh, qualifications and then experience and uh, address and everything right so what i can do i have two approaches first thing is that i can put all this data in a static manner and i will create uh, thousands of pages uh, different pages for uh, every user and that is really a silly approach second thing is that i can send that username in parameter right and on the behalf of that parameter from url i can get this data from database and now i just need a one page and we will show the all data dynamically on that page right so that's why we need uh, params so if you get that point then that's great if you did not get that point then don't worry you will definitely get whenever we will just uh, go with the example all right so first of all let's make a component and uh, then i will tell you that where we need the require and that is a real life example so let me just create a component my component name is let's say user dot js and let me create a function here user let's return something from here return and if i just simply put here h1 tag and i just simply write here uh this is users page right now i can export it not expect export default user and now we can use it in the app.js so let me just put here import user and i can just create a one more route here so let me create one more route route path i am giving the path of it let's say user right and element and uh, we can simply add uh, user element here fine okay and uh, now we have also have to add the link for this so let me just open here mm -hmm. navbar and i am adding one more route here my route name is user and i am putting a path also here so let's try to open it whenever i will just click on the user you can see that this is a user space that is pretty simple and we already done it in last two videos also right that is super super easy so now the issue is let's say i have a username uh, i want to because now i have a specific user anil and uh, i want to show the anil details here right so what i can do here i can simply put here this is anil's page whenever i will just click on the contact that will work perfectly fine on a click of anil still this is working fine there is no issue but now i got two new users uh first one is let's say peter and second one is let's say bruce 
like this great but now there is a issue so should i make the different pages for peter and bruce or how i can use the same page here because there is a hard code data uh, in the user so what i need to do here i must have to make this data dynamic right so what i can do here again i can just simply put here i can send this data like uh, user anil user peter and user and i can say that bruce that is perfectly fine there is a no issue but now i have to told to that you are also also that you have to open whenever you will get the uh, users plus any dynamic name so if i am trying to log in it now you will find that it will take it up on the home page because it's not finding that actual url right so now i am putting here colon name now it will understand that there is a parameter right so if i just click on the uh, anil still you can see that this is dynamic you can see that from the url uh, if i click on the anil we are getting anil in the url as a param and that we call actually param peter and bruce but still this is a static data how we can get this name to uh, on our page so for that we have to use a hook which is uh, use param so let me just use it use params we can import it from react outer dom and we can simply use it as a const this is actually a hook so we have to use it as a function use params like this and now let's take a const name and uh, from params right and now if i am putting here name and replacing uh, this dynamic name with a static name now you will find that this is a bruce page this is anil page this is peter page and they are the other pages also great so with that way we can make it dynamic so see this is a little bit awkward because on a home page we cannot simply show that these pages like anil peter and bruce so what we can do here we can put this all name in the about uh, page right so that will be more uh, realistic because in about let's say we have some users and i want to show the user data so i am taking all these static you are from here and i want to put them on uh, about.js great if you want to format it you can do that and it will still work perfectly fine home page contact us page about us page on about us we have these these three links if i click on the name it will still show the perfect name go back to the about peter go back to the about and bruce everything is working fine so with that way we can make the params and we also call it dynamic routing in uh, react js so thank you so much and please don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video and please provide your valuable feedback also thank you so much